Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, as a Jet fan, that was a depressing loss uh, to the San Francisco 49ers, but we got it going for you today. I'm going to get into Stephen Fulton. Sorry, guys. We're going to get into Stephen Fulton versus Carlos Castro tonight, and what should be which should be a good one. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month to get you the absolute best gambling advice. I think we've hit six, seven weeks in a row on the Lock of the Week. So join the Lock of the Week. It's just $5 a month. Just $5 a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice. $5 a month. It gets you the ask the bookie anything, gets you the lock of the week, it gets request to fight, it gets you all the updated props. Like, there's no props on this fight out yet, according to DraftKings. When they do drop, come over to Patreon, we'll show you how to make money on the props as well. And uh, also subscribe to the channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, y'all, let's get into this fight. Uh, Stephen Fulton looks to bounce back from the uh, bad loss to, in a way, which, I mean, look, it's it's in a way. Everyone's going to lose to in a way like that. It's just, it, it, he's the best fighter on earth. He's a lot to deal with. It was not a great showing from Fulton. You'd want to see something better. From Cool Boy Steph, this I think is a good fight for him. I don't think that highly of Carlos Castro. I, I think Stephen Fulton, quick, agile, great feet, great movement. His feet, his feet do get a little sloppy at times, though. Um, you see some kind of amateurish mistakes in his feet. I don't know if it's a lack of concentration or, or what. He's obviously very quick, very agile, very athletic. But if you watch his feet, he'll, he'll, he'll trip over himself sometimes. He'll cross his feet. Like, he does some weird things that you wouldn't expect. Uh, but nice, quick, straight shots. Decent pop. You know, nothing great, but pretty decent pop. Great movement. Doesn't sit still. Uses the whole ring. Uh, he's got fantastic speed. Doesn't – he's not easy to hit. Good speed. Good athleticism. Good twitch. Like I said, he's feet, he's get a little sloppy sometimes, but he's, he's accurate from the outside. He throws in good volumes. He can switch it. He's a good offensive fighter and a good defensive fighter with a few bad habits. But he's a very good fighter. Uh, he's in control. He, he controls the fight from the outside. He can fight on the inside, which he's showing in the Brandon Figueroa fight. He can bang. He's got skills on the inside. He's got a little bit of pop. Uh, but he, he can also fight from long range. He can fight going backwards. He's he's a multifaceted fighter. He's got really, really good skills. He's a really, really uh, talented fighter. He can sit back. He can make you miss. He can out-jab you. He's got a nice quick jab. He can pick you apart with the jab. Uh, he's a pretty good counter puncher. He's a pretty good come-forward guy. He's just a complete He's a complete fighter. Uh, you know, it just it wasn't enough against a, a monster. Like, in a way, it just, it just wasn't enough. But I guess everyone else, it, it's it's been – I don't think he really wants to be in that grind like that. I think he's he's he he can do it, and he beat Angelo Leo that way, and he beat Brandon Figueroa that way. Uh, but really, uh, you know, and he can do that in spots, and he should do it in spots. But mostly, he wants to be on the outside, uh, maintaining that range. He can keep you at bay with his, with his straight shots. He can do that, or he can fight up the back foot and and tag you with counter shots. He can do a lot of good things. He can beat you in a battle of the jabs. He's a really good offensive fighter. Carlos Castro straight up and down, and he fights tall. I don't really see much in this guy. Uh, you know, he's got wind, so I, I can't say anything bad about him. You just watch the tape. I just don't see anything impressive. He got knocked out by Figueroa, and he, he lost a very close decision to Neary. Very close decision, which is impressive. Uh, since then, he knocked out Angel Luna, some two of guys. He's got a win over Belmar Presidio which is a decent win. But he's not a high-volume guy. He's not a big hitter. He's got just 14 knockouts in, in his 30-something wins. He likes to be on the outside. He gets hit a lot. He shells up. You can beat him up against the ropes. He gets stationary. There's not a lot of head movement. He flicks out the jab, uh, but he doesn't really have great power. He doesn't really follow things up. He's not particularly accurate from the outside. He's got a nice, quick, flicking jab. 
I don't see much. You know, he wants to be at long range. That's not going to go well for McFulton. Uh, he's not a big hitter. He's not a guy that can really grind on the inside. This is not – I don't see a world-class fighter here. And Stephen Fulton is a world-class fighter. Stephen Fulton was a debatable pound-for-pound pound guy a year ago, right, before the Interway fight. I just don't – he doesn't let his hands go. He's not a puncher. He's got a decent jab. He shells up. He stays behind a high guard. You can just take rounds from him. I really – he fought nearly tough. I, I just don't understand how that fight was that competitive. I look at this guy. And I I just don't see it. I, what is he fights tall? He's not particularly fast. He's not a particularly big hitter. He's not a volume guy. He sits. He takes shots. I just I don't I don't see it with him. But we're, we're gonna find out. I'm not saying he's a bad fighter. I just don't see a world class fighter. And he's absolutely fighting a world class fighter. So let's take a look at the odds. Let's take a look at the props. Um, Pull that up. Minus 800. I think this is a great bet to add to your parlay. Fulton's a very good fighter. He's a very, very good fighter. I, I would take this bet. I think this is a fantastic bet. At minus 800. I think Fulton is a lock. I would make this you know, a two times bet. I. Uh, I'd probably take it to go the distance, but if the odds are super sexy on him to get by, he could get a stoppage. Like he could get a late stoppage. This could be a beat down. But I do kind of like it to go the distance. A two hundred dollar bet is going to make you twenty five bucks. The odds on this aren't great, but they're not terrible. You can use this in your parlay to help bring down your odds. You could parlay this with a Canelo knockout. You could parlay this with um, Arslan Lada uh, on the money line, and it, it, it's going to help that bet. So this is a fight I like a lot. Fulton, money line, minus 800. I think it's easy money. Put it on your parlay. But make the, the bet two times. This is easy money. This is going to hit. I don't think Castro's that dude. I think this is a good comeback fight for Fulton. I think it gets an easy win. Builds up his confidence. And as far as Fulton, um, I'm sure as the parlay, this is a great fight to, to add to your parlay to help bring down. Uh, it's not something you build your parlay around, but it's something you can – if you're getting – Lot at minus 225. This will help bring it down. And then you can add Canelo by stoppage, and you get yourself a nice, easy parlay. All right, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. It is January 10th, uh, January 10th, September 10th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.